another video and this is going to be a review of the CoverGirl True Blend foundation. So I looked on the CoverGirl website and they said that this foundation comes in 21 shades and it's supposed to match 99% of women. I am in the color shade D6 and this is what the packaging look like. I'm pretty sure if you've seen it, it comes with a little pump. It also, you have to switch it back and forth. So if you put it in like your makeup case, it's not gonna just spill all out. And I'm gonna use my stippling brush to just like buff that into my skin. And so far, it feels very lightweight. It feels as if though um, I'm not going to be able to get full coverage with this. So if you are like a full coverage girl, I don't think this is for you. If you're a full coverage girl, I would recommend you stay with the 3-in-1 foundation by CoverGirl. That's an all day flawless look um, and it's full coverage. Looking into the camera, this side looks more like a nice dewy um, natural looking look. If you like that dewy, that glowy, that natural looking foundation, like just one layer, um, it says that it can go to medium, but I don't think it's even going to be a full medium coverage. I think this is a very natural, you know, finish. All right, now we're going to move on to the CoverGirl Thick True Blend Thick Stick. And it reminds me of the L'Oreal True Match Stick. The only thing is I've used this before and it's a little bit more creamier and I feel like the color matching, I know that it's still like not my perfect color, um, but the color matching is better than the L'Oreal True Match for deeper skin complexions. So I just put that under my eye because that's the only place where I feel comfortable placing it. I like using it more so as a highlight because it's still a little bit too light for my skin. And you see how it doesn't leave um, that cast. It eventually blends in really nice, but you still know that it's still a highlight color. Here's the finished application. All right, so let's talk. Simply put, I think this um, foundation is not good for women who have oily skin as you can see for right here my oil is like seeping through um, if you have really all over you know combination of oily skin this probably wouldn't be the best thing for you to buy combination oily maybe because you maybe you're just oily in a couple of spots but if you're all over oily just let it pass through babe like you might want to go with the three-in-one covergirl uh, stay flawless uh, foundation it's for all day wear it's a little bit more matte um, I would try to go with something like that also if you're a girl that likes matte finishes she like full coverage this is not it I'm not even gonna try to wear this all day long and like come back and show you guys because of the simple fact I don't think it would last all day long it's a natural to medium barely medium coverage foundation but I will say that for my girls that like the natural finish they like something really lightweight this is a perfect one if you have normal combination skin go for it but yeah that's my quick review of the covergirl true blend um hopefully this helps someone out there that is considering buying it I am going to also show you what it looks like in natural lighting and I hope you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to thumb up this video um, and let me know if you want to see any reviews in the future and I will keep them coming. But all in all, I really do think this is a really nice foundation. I just think that it wouldn't work for all women. Alright, bye! Mwah. Hey guys, so I'm out here in natural light. It's like snowing so I'm going to be really quickly. But it's already starting to get oily right here. So I just brought my brush out here. Just to like buff that out. But as you can see, like the color matching is beautiful. I think CoverGirl did a good job on that. This is me stepping inside of the sun. Yeah, so you can just see the lighting. All right, you guys, I hope this video was helpful. And I'll see you in the next video. And let me know down below if this was helpful. Okay, bye. Mwah. a smooth matte surface for your foundation and I actually have it on a